Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is part of my skincare series that I've got up on my channel at the moment. I have already gone through all of my cleansers that I've got in my skincare collection, all of my exfoliators and all of my toners and so this video is dedicated to all of my serums that I've got in my skincare collection. Now a serum is something that you put on after you have cleansed and toned your face. Now sometimes I will put a chemical exfoliator on as well after I have toned and before I put my serums on. Now a serum is something that you put on that will help target specific concerns that you have got with your skin and the serums have usually got a high potent ingredient in there which often has a small molecular structure to that ingredient so that it can get deeper into your skin layers and so yeah I will put as a general rule I will put two serums onto my face as part of my skincare routine and so I will put two serums on on a morning and two serums on on a evening. Now there are certain serums that I will use both AM and PM then there are certain things that I will put onto my skin just in the morning or just in the evening but yeah I, uh, I do have quite a lot of serums and so I will take you through all of the serums that I've got in my collection. Now I think I have been using serums probably just over a year and in that time I have collected quite a lot of serums. Now I have got this little basket of serums, I have got this little basket of serums and I have got a little drawer so I'm going to go through all of the serums that I've got in my skincare collection and then at the end of this video I'm going to choose the serums that I'm going to be using over the next month and then I plan on doing like a shop my stash skincare where I will tell you what I've been using what I've been enjoying and then swapping the products for products that I haven't been using and yeah I will uh, let you know if I have emptied any of those products but anyway let's get into it and I will show you the serums that I've got. So the very first serum that I'm going to talk about is by the brand Vici and this is the Mineral 89 uh, fortifying and plumping daily booster this is a hyaluronic acid serum and so that is very hydrating for the skin this is one that I will use in a morning and in an evening because I do like to hydrate my skin even though I have got oily skin I still need to hydrate my skin because if your skin is dehydrated it will then start producing more oils and I don't want to produce more oils and so yeah I do like to add hydration into my skin and yeah I really really like this serum it's a really nice serum. Now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand It's Skin and this is their Power 10 li effector with licorice now this one is a soothing serum and so uh, yeah if my skin is feeling sensitized at all then i will pop a little bit of this serum on and it is a little dropper i'll show you and that is what the serum is like it is quite a thick serum and so it does sink lovely into your skin and yeah really really nice serum now the next serum again is by its skin and this one is the relaxing pure and this is a relaxing serum and it's got aloe vera in it it's got aloe vera in it which gives a soothing effect and it smells beautiful. I really, really like this one. Again, these two are really good at 
helping to soothe your skin and calm down any redness and that sort of thing. So yeah, I do really like both of these serums. Now the next serum that I'm going to talk to you about is by the brand Ole Henriksen. Beautiful, beautiful serum. This is a truth serum and it it says that it's collagen boosted with true C complex and it smells of oranges. It smells really, really nice. This one is really good for helping to brighten your skin and to keep it nice and youthful and plump looking. So yeah, really, really nice. I love this serum. It's one of my favourites. Now the next serum that I have got is from the brand Insta Natural and this is their Niacinamide Serum and it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, avocado oil and rosemary extract. Now this I got for my birthday in October and I'd heard really good things about niacinamide for people with oily skin and so yeah my husband bought me this for my birthday. It is a white milky serum and it is a little bit runnier than the It's Skin serums and um, yeah I do enjoy popping this on and I will use it a.m. and p.m. as well but it's a really nice serum. Now the next one that I'm going to show you is by the brand Physicians Formula and this is their Rosé All Day and this is an oil free serum and this brightens and tightens and again this is a white serum and it's actually got, if I don't know if I'll be able to show you this but it seems to have like little like shininess in the actual serum itself and so yeah it does brighten your skin but yeah it's it has got this nice like brightening effect to your skin and it smells really nice as well i do love the smell of rose now i haven't used this a lot but I have been enjoying using it whilst I've been using it and so uh, yeah I uh, I do like that and I'm looking forward to using this a little bit more than what I have been doing. Now the next serum is by the brand Nourish and this is a radiance rejuvenating peptide serum. Now this is one that I would normally use on a evening, but this says that it is a summer brightening serum. It hydrates the skin and stimulates collagen repair. And uh, yeah, this one is for normal skin and yeah, do like this and I have used this a few times and yeah, really nice serum. Now the next serum is by the brand Dr Eve Ruth and this is their Wrinkle Renew Ultra Concentrated Serum. Now you apply two to three drops onto cleanse skin and this one, it's thicker than the other um, serums that I've got and then when you put it onto your skin the drop actually stays formed on your skin until you start rubbing it in and yeah it's a really really nice serum and it it does sink really nicely into your skin and um, yeah I have been enjoying using this and again this is something that I will use on a evening um, but you can use it morning and evening but yeah I do like to use this one on an evening. Now the next serum that I'm gonna show you is by the brand Rata & Co. This is a rose hip oil and this has got antioxidants in, in this serum and so it says that it's got acai fruit oil and cranberry seed oil. Now I haven't used this very much to be honest um, I think I might have only used it once but it is a yellow serum and it is quite runny 
but um, it feels quite oily on the skin but it doesn't leave your skin oily and it doesn't seem to have a smell to it neither but antioxidants is really good for helping you fight against free radicals and environmental stresses and that sort of thing and so yeah I uh, I do like having antioxidants in my skincare but I would use this on a morning or on an evening but yeah I've only used this I think I've only used this once but um, yeah I'm looking forward to using this a little bit more often now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Luminaire and this is their Nordic Hydra Arctic Dew Quenching Aqua Serum. Now this is a hyaluronic acid based serum and uh, let me see if I can get some in and so it is quite a thick serum and it just stays formed on your skin when you put it on and yeah it does sink into your skin really nice and quickly and um, it smells lovely as well does this I have used this quite a lot I've only got that much left in the bottle and so this is probably going to be finished quite soon um, but yeah it's a really nice smelling serum it smells really fresh really really nice I do like that serum now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Skin Chemists and this is the Rose Youth Youth the Rose Youth Defense Facial Serum and this is for radiance. Now this one is quite watery. So I'm going to show you. And yeah, it's dripping down my hand. But yeah, that has sunk in really nicely into my hand and um, let me have a little smell it smells quite pleasant and um, it it doesn't doesn't really smell of rose but it is a pleasant smelling serum I've only used this a few times this one is something that I would use on a morning but uh, yeah I do like this serum now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Luna. this is their vitamin c hyaluronic acid serum and um, yeah this one it says that it's designed for ultra hydration of the skin it's oil free and it penetrates the skin quickly creating fullness and a youthful radiance helping to protect your skin from the signs of aging now this one i have used a couple of times and it's a cloudy serum and it's not really really runny um, but it's not as thick as the likes of this serum um, but yeah it is a nice serum my hand is just going to be full of lovely ingredients tonight I would use this on the morning because it's got the vitamin c and the hyaluronic acid in there and um, yeah I I've used this a few times and I'm looking forward to uh, giving this more of a try and seeing what it does with my skin. Now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Coach Ella Naturals and this is their California Glow. Now this is an axe, uh, axe a antioxidant facial treatment serum and it says use every day before moisturizing massage a thin layer of the face and neck start with a single drop and then add more as needed now i've used this and only add one drop because if i've added more than one drop it tends to leave my skin feeling quite sticky but um, yeah I would use that in a morning with it being a, um, a glowy type serum but um, yeah it's 
one that I've only used a few times and a little does go a long way because you only use one drop of it but uh, yeah a, another antioxidant serum there. Now the next serum that I'm going to show you is again by the brand Luminaire. This is their Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. Now I haven't used this that much. I've only used it once and it's a vitamin C serum and it is quite a thick consistency serum and um, yeah it does feel quite thick and nice and hydrating as well into your skin. Now uh, let me have a smell of it in the actual bottle because it smells of oranges. Yeah it's a nice serum. It doesn't smell as oranges as much as the truth serum does but I would be interested to see what the differences are in these two vitamin C serums and I got this um, at Christmas and so yeah I um, am interested to see what this one is like compared to my truth serum and so yeah nice little vitamin C serum. Now the next serum is by the brand It's Skin again and this is their um, YE Effector with yeast polypeptides. Now this is for vitality and it is a cloudy serum and yeah it's um, it's not very runny and so it does stay its shape when you turn your hand and it's a nice hydrating and it does go into your skin and it's it feels really really nice now yeah this one I would use in the morning and a evening as well and so nice little serum now the next serum I'm going to show you is this BioEffect EGF serum now I haven't used this and I haven't opened this one up but I have used it before I've had a little um, miniature size like this before and it was such a nice serum I was really impressed with it but it is really expensive but uh, yeah looking forward to getting that open but I'm not going to open it straight away because I've got so many serums that I'm using so yeah I'm going to leave that to one side. Now the next serum that I am going to show you is by the brand Lancome and this is their Jennifer Eek and it is the uh, Youth Activating Concentrate. Now I've only used this once um, but it is supposed to be a really nice anti-aging serum. Uh, let me just pop a little bit on and put it onto this hand instead. And yeah it's just sunk in really really nicely into my skin. And um, yeah a nice little serum. So the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Skin Chemists and this is their anti-aging wrinkle killer snake serum and yeah this one is more of like a cream serum um, it's not watery and yeah it is a nice serum that goes into your skin quite quickly and yeah anti-aging I have only used this I think once but um, I've got so many serums and yeah I do like to um, chop and change what serums I'm going to be using and so uh, yeah can't wait to start using this a little bit more often because I do need a little bit of help with the anti-aging skincare and so yeah I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Now the next serum that I'm going to show you is again by the brand Skin Chemists and this is their Pro Lift Rose Quartz Serum. Now this one is like a um, like a gel consistency and I've put it onto the other hand because I've had so many serums on this hand but uh, yeah that has sunk into my skin really nicely and um, yeah it doesn't smell of rose 
doesn't smell of much to be honest. Now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Nourish and this is their Replenishing Peptide Serum and this says that it quenches thirsty skin and stimulates collagen replenishment to firm and smooth. Now this one is like a gel consistency and a little goes a long way so you don't have to use an awful lot of it and it just it like what's the word it just smooths out really a long way so that you can just put it in one part of your face and then it will smooth out all over your face but uh, yeah nice little serum that I usually use on a evening. Now the next serum that I have got is the L'Oreal Revitalift Laser Renew. This was the very first serum that I ever bought and I used this serum constantly for quite a while and I repurchased this a few times but then I started buying more serums and I've got to admit that it's not a serum that I pick up anymore because I've got so many but this one is more of a cream serum and um, yeah it is really nice I did really enjoy using it when I first started getting into serums and I would definitely highly recommend this serum but yeah I've just got so many serums and yeah I'm enjoying using so many different serums that I just don't pick this one up anymore which is a shame really because it was the product that did get me into buying serums but uh, yeah nice little serum there. Now the next one is by the brand Healer's Daughter. This is Rose and Vitamin C, which is Bright and Firm Booster Serum. Now I love the packaging on this. I think it's such a nice little, um, it's like an airtight container, which I think is really good for vitamin C, but um, that didn't squirt out very well. But yeah, this one is more of a, um, a thicker consistency and yeah it's a really nice serum. I've used that serum quite a few times during the my morning skincare routine and yeah it is it is a really nice smelling um serum. I've really enjoyed using this. Now the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Pure Anada. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but anyway this is their Revive Moisturising Serum and this is with um, coenzyme Q10 and hyaluronic acid. This is for mature and dehydrated skin. Now this one again is in a nice um, airtight pump container and this one is more of a cream serum. Now this hand is stinging a little bit. I have got a little bit of, um, I'm not sure if it's eczema that's coming up on this hand. I might have to stop putting the serums on this hand because yeah, it is starting to irritate a little bit. But um, I will go and use this hand. But yeah, it is a milky serum and very nice and hydrating. Now this one, it does say that you can use it like a moisturiser. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you use a serum like a moisturiser. You should put moisturiser over the top of serum so that you've got that barrier on the top of your skin because serums go deeper into your skin, whereas moisturisers will just like stay on the top part of your skin, protecting your skin barrier. But yeah, it does say that this one, let me see. It says, as a moisturiser, apply once or twice daily after cleansing and toning your skin. And yeah, you can use it like a moisturiser. And I have used it like a moisturiser and not followed with a moisturiser, which just seems really strange to me because, yeah, you should put moisturiser on after your serum. But um, nice uh, hydrating serum stroke moisturiser. Now the next one that I'm going to show you is by the brand Simply Pure and this is from Superdrug. 
I'm not going to put any more serums onto my hands. This hand is feeling quite irritated and um, yeah, I've put so many serums onto this hand so I'll just talk to you about them. But this is a hydrating serum and this has got a soothing, calming ingredients in here. Um, I do like this serum. I would use this serum on a morning and I have got the simply pure hydrating night serum and so yeah i would do, use this on a morning use this on a night but these are both for sensitive skin fragrance free hypoallergenic and dermatologically approved as well both of these are really nice serums and really affordable as well and so yeah those are from superdrug so two really nice serums there now the next Serum is by the brand Superfacialist and this is their Vitamin C Brighten Glow Boost Skin Serum. Now this is supposed to boost collagen synthesis and even out the appearance of your skin but I've got to admit that since I got my Ole Henriks and Truth Serum I've put this to one side and I've been using this more consistently but it is a nice serum um and yeah i would recommend it now the next serum is again by superfacialist and this is their hyaluronic acid firming serum and so yeah a nice hydrating serum now the next serum is by the the brand avant and this is their 8 hour retexturizing and antioxidizing hyaluronic facial serum. I haven't used this that much to be honest. I'm not a real lover of the brand Avant. It's supposed to be really expensive um, and it's one of those brands that you get in your beauty subscription boxes but yeah I'm just I've not really been feeling the products that I've got that spy the brand Avant and so yeah that's the reason why I don't really um, pick this one up. But the next serum that I'm going to show you is by the brand Caudalie. This is their Vino Perfect Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting. I haven't used any of this. I got it from Feel Unique uh, Pick and Mix and yeah it's yet for it's a serum that I am yet to try so yeah that's a little serum that I haven't tried yet. Now I have got this Shizida, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that but this is their power infused power infusing concentrate. Now this is quite expensive I got this from Latest in Beauty and this is one that I am yet to try. Now the next serum is by the brand The Ordinary and this is their Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I have only used this a couple of times and yeah I would like to try it a little bit more because I do hear really good things about The Ordinary brand and I do have a few other serums as well and so uh, yeah I'm gonna start trying these out a little bit more and seeing what they do with my skin but the other the ordinary serum that I've got is the amino acids and b5 and this is for hydration and so I would put this on either on a morning or in the uh, evening and um, yeah it says apply a few drops to face in the a.m and PM before creams and a tingling sensation can be expected after application. I didn't get the tingling when I have used this but I, I've only used this a few times um, but yeah I like I say I'd quite like to start using the Ordinary a little bit more. Now the next one that I got from the Ordinary is the Reservatrol 3% and Fure Uralic acid 3% and yeah this one it says apply alone or after water based serums before oils or heavier creams and you can mix it with other treatments to enhance their antioxidant capacity 
Um, and so yeah, I have used that a few times as well and yeah, not had any tingling or any bad reactions from it. And so yeah, another little ordinary serum. Now the next serum is by Neutrogena. This is their Hydro Boost Capsule in Serum. Now, I've used this a few times and I wasn't really that sure about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I do need to try this a little bit more. First impressions, I wasn't that sure, to be honest. I think it made my skin sparkle, if I can remember rightly. I think it's a while ago that I used this. Um, but yeah, another little serum. Now the next serum is by the brand Luminaire. This is the Nordic Ageless Pressed Serum. I haven't used this, I've not opened it. I got it in my advent calendar. Um, and so yeah, that's one that I haven't tried. Now the next one is by the brand Cordily. This is their SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. I've had this before and this is the second little tube of this. And I did like it when I used it and yeah, it is a nice hydrating serum. And so yeah, really do like that one. Now the next serum is by the brand Pericone MD. This is their face firming serum. Not used this, so again, this is a serum that I haven't used yet. Now the next serum is actually an ampule. This is the Age Control Solution Ampule and this is by the brand Glam Fox. I love the little uh, rose, little petals that's suspended in that solution. I think it's a little rose petal anyway, but um, yeah. I've used this a couple of times and I would normally use this on an evening. Um, but yeah, a nice little ampule there. Now the next serum is this one from B Hit. It's Vitamin B Booster Serum. Now I got this from a Tilly box from QVC. I haven't used it yet. It says that it's powerfully hydrating, promotes skin ceramide, strengthens protective outer layer, helps keep skin soft, supple, robust to hit back at irritation, stress overload and sunlight. And so yeah, a nice little serum that I haven't used yet. Now the next serum again is one that I haven't used yet. This is from eCooking and this is their moisturising serum and it's fragrance free and it has got a moisture boost in here. Um, I got this from my Look Fantastic box in January and yet yeah, I haven't used this yet. So that's another little serum that I haven't used yet. Now the next item is by Mud Masky. I've actually got two of these and this is their after mask vitamin serum and it says that it's extra smoothing anti-aging feeding protecting and nourishing i have used this before and yeah it's a nice serum that i have applied after i have put a mask on now the next serum is by the brand clinique and this is their custom repair serum now i have had the full size of this and it didn't really do much to my skin and I used it consistently um, but yeah nothing to write home about I wouldn't buy the full size. The serums that I have got in the uh, little um, drawer I've not used yet so I'm not sure what these are like but yeah it's the new face fix line smoothing serum and then I have got the Cordelay Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. They are just in my little drawer. I'm not sure when I'll ever use them because I've got so many serums that I've got open at the moment. Now, the next three items, I'm not sure if they are serums, but I've put them into the category of serums. This is by the brand Paula's Choice. This is the Antioxidant Pore Purifier with salicylic acid and white tea. Now, I've put this in with serums because of how I put this into my skincare routine. I will put it on 
like I would with a serum, so I will put it on after I've cleansed and turned, then I will put this on, then I will follow it with a moisturiser. So yeah, that's why I've put this in with the serums, but I don't think it is a serum as you would think a serum is, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it unclogs and visibly diminishes pores, clears skin of damaging environmental stressors, and it's lightweight fluid evens tone and texture. Um, I have used this a few times. I've not used it that much, but I have been enjoying using it. I got it because I've got large pores on my nose, my chin and my forehead and so yeah I wanted to try something to try and minimise my pores and something that's got salicylic acid in it. Now I do have my Paula's Choice 2% BHA salicylic acid and I found that when I was using this the same time as my 2% my skin got quite sensitised, so I think it's because my skin's sensitive and I think it was just too much salicylic acid. So I've been using this when I've not been using my 2% BHA exfoliant. But uh, yeah, that's another serum stroke treatment that I've got. Now the next one again is Paula's Choice. This is the 10% azelic acid booster with licorice and salicylic acid. Now, I haven't used this yet, but it's supposed to be good, like a spot treatment, um, and so uh, I'm yet to give that a go, but I've heard really good things about the azelic acid booster, and so, uh, yeah, I do need to give this a go, but to be honest, I'm not sure where I'm going to fit it into my skincare routine because I've got my 2% BHA and yeah I don't want to overdo it with all the active ingredients and I don't want to make my skin feel irritated or anything like that and so yeah if you've got any um, tips for me or when I should be using this or if I shouldn't be using this with other things that I've got in my skincare collection please do comment down below but uh, yeah I am looking forward to using this I just don't know how to fit it in my skincare routine the very last item that I've got is by the brand Kiehl's. This is their Powerful Strength Lime Reducing Concentrate. So this is 12.5% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Now I've been using this like a serum. I'm not sure if it is a serum. It's a little bit like this product where I have been putting this on like a serum after I cleanse and turned and I will always follow up with a sunscreen when I am using these sort of products. I do put sunscreen on even when the sun isn't shining anyway, but yeah, you've, you must put sunscreen on when you are using things like vitamin C and chemical exfoliators. But um, yeah, this one, is a vitamin C serum which I love vitamin C and so yeah I do think that 12.5% is quite high concentration of vitamin C but I'm not sure to be honest. So that is the last product that I've got as part of my serums. Now let's go through and I will choose some serums that I'm going to be using over the next month. So where do I start? I've got so many. Um, this one, I'm going to put it back because I don't really um, pick it up when I'm looking for a serum. Um, vitamin C, I really like my Truth Serum, so I'm going to pop that into my bathroom. So I can pop this one back and I can pop this one back because those are both vitamin C serums. I would like a hyaluronic acid serum and I'm going to choose this one because this has been my favourite hyaluronic acid serum and so uh, yeah that one's going to go into my bathroom and I'm wanting something that might be soothing so either one of these I think I think I will go with the aloe it's skin because this one smells amazing and it does feel really nice on the skin so I'm going to pop that into my bathroom and I will put this one back. The 
antioxidant pore purifier. I'm going to put that into my bathroom just in case I would like to use it. The Vinosource SOS Thirst, Thirst Serum, I'm going to pop that back. The two Super Facialists, I'm going to pop them back. Uh, let me see. This yeast for vitality, I'm going to pop that back. I'm not going to put that into my daily. Ah, this Luminae Nordic Hydra, because I've only got a small amount in here, I'm going to put that into my dailies because I'd like to get that used up if I can. Um, let's see. Revitalist, I'm going to put that back. I've got so many. All the serums that I've not opened yet, I'm going to put back. So that's this serum, this serum, this serum, this serum, this serum, and this serum. So those can all go back into my storage, into my spare room. Um, niacinamide. Now, let me have a little look. That is this one. So I'm going to pop that into my everyday I'm popping an awful lot into my everyday at the moment I have got these and I've but I've got so many to go through um let me think these two the simply pure I'm gonna pop them back into storage now I think I'm gonna pop all these three back into storage and then when I do my shop my stash in a month's time i might use the hyaluronic acid and replace this one with a ordinary serum so anyway i'm going to pop them back into my storage this one i haven't used yet so i'm going to pop that back azelic acid i'm going to just pop that into my dailies might as well pop it in there Clinique, I'm going to pop back. Let's have a look. The California Glow, I'm going to pop back. The Luna, I'm going to pop back because that's vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. And I've got those as separate serums that I've already got in my little everyday basket. Brightens and Titans, the Rose All Day Physicians Formula. I'm going to pop that into my dailies and see if I want to use that. The Skin Chemists, the Rose Radiance Youth Defence Facial Serum. I'm going to pop that back. The Pure Anada, I'm going to pop that back. The Pro Lift, I'm going to pop that back. I've got so many serums. I really don't know how I'm going to use all these up and the thing is I love buying serums and so I know that I'm going to buy some more. Um, Neutrogena, I'm going to put that into my everyday drawer and then I will be able to tell you my thoughts on this when I'm doing my next Shop My Stash skincare um, video. The Ampule, the Age Control Ampule, I'm going to pop that into my storage replenishing peptide serum for dry skin now where's the other one so this one is a peptide serum so is this one i'm going to put the peptide serum for normal skin into my dailies and pop the dry skin one back into storage i've chosen so many serums it's because i've got so many Wrinkle Renew Ultra Concentrated Serum. I'm going to put that into my dailies. Might as well. Skin Chemists Wrinkle Killer Snake Serum. I'm going to pop that back into my storage. The Rose Hip Oil, the Antioxidant Serum. I'm going to pop that into my dailies. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use all of these serums in a month. I'm sure I can, but then I just don't know how they are affecting my skin if I keep chopping and changing. But anyway, 
The last ones that I've got is the Aftermask Vitamin Serum. I'll pop that one into my everyday because this one's the full one. This one is the one that I've used. So at least then, if I put a mask on, I've got some After Mask Serum. And then the very last one is this Lancome Genifique. And I'm going to pop that back. So that is the serums that I've chosen to use over the next month. And so, yeah. I, uh, I'm quite happy with that. I've got an awful lot that I'm going to be putting back into storage. But yeah, that is the end of my Shop My Stash Serum skincare video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping that it's not too long. But yeah, if you did like this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel then please do click on that subscribe button because I'm going to be going through all of my moisturisers, my masks, my treatments and I'm also going to be doing some skincare routines as well and taking you into my bathroom and showing you all of the products that I use in a morning and in an evening so yeah if that's the sort of thing that you would like to watch then please do click on that subscribe button and hopefully I will see you in my next video all right then thank you bye